Portland, Denver, WRLR, as you're walking down those country roads today, just be careful not to uh, step in any uh, country. It's seven minutes after six o'clock with El Capitan and Tonelli this morning. Good morning. I'm Bill Lowell, right up till 12 noon today. Just because you become a young woman now, it's still some things that you don't shot. Well, as Han Solo would say if he was here this morning, well, that's the real trick, isn't it? Ten minutes after six, that's Captain Antonio. You better shop around a little bit. Matter of fact, you have the whole weekend to do some shopping, and the weather looks pretty good, too, except for Sunday. Maybe a little unsettled weather on Sunday. We'll know more about that later on. Don't worry about it now, for goodness sake. Good morning. Boston's Museum of Fine Arts is continuing with the Pompeii AD 79. In case you haven't heard, thousands have already joined this uh, special exhibition and found it fascinating. And as a matter of fact, it's so successful, the Museum of Science is including weeknight openings for the first time in its history. Matter of fact, it's so successful, I'm not even going to mention it here anymore. Greece is coming to Boston, and Jordan Marsh wants you to be part of it, because this weekend is Greece Weekend in Boston, celebrating the new motion picture Greece, starring John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. WROR's Arnie Ginsberg kicks things off Saturday from 12 to 4 with a live broadcast from Jordan Marsh downtown. Come dressed in your hottest 50s clothes, because six finalists will receive complete denim outfits courtesy of Sedgefield. There'll be a dance demonstration and contest in our junior department from 12.30 to 1.30, and we'll be giving out 400 pairs of tickets to a special Greece preview, Saturday at midnight at the Sack Cinema 57. During the preview, two of our 50s finalists will receive our grand prize, including a Jordan Marsh gift certificate, a season pass to Sack Theaters, and a special surprise gift from WROR. Then on Sunday, the action moves to the Prudential Center with a Golden Great Dance Marathon for muscular dystrophy. Pick up application blanks in the Jordan Marsh Junior Department. Don't miss the excitement as Jordan Marsh, WROR, and Sack Theaters celebrate Grease Weekend in Boston. James. Now this, I want you to see. James, there's a bear. Kodak Tele Ektra 1 camera outfit. I just got it at the Photomat store. James, it is a very big bear. There's two lenses in this camera. It's a oh. telephoto and a normal lens. So he He's coming right into camp. Well, he doesn't have to because I've got a telephoto. What a nice picture of him eating our sandwiches, see, hmm? This case opens up and that becomes the handle. Along with all our traveler's checks. Put a foot flash up on top here. It takes the foot flash. And I got a free roll of film from the Photomat store. What do you mean? Five dollars worth of discount coupons. There goes our tent. Everything. It's only twenty nine ninety five at the Photomat store, and now I mean I'm ready to photograph. Bear, here, bear, 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 could you do that part where you tear the door off the car again? James, now use the other door. James, I think all you're going to get is a picture of me screaming very loudly. My dear, twenty nine ninety five. It doesn't take pictures of sounds, only visual things. I'll pull out my hair then. Right now you'll save some money when you buy three rolls of any size Photomat film, and if you go for ten, you'll save a bundle. Take us on vacation. Photomat makes it so easy. Gather around, everybody, and tear up for the second annual Golden Great Dance Marathon. A trip to Disney World, where two can have some fun. A $500 savings bond from Highburn, your bank in downtown Boston. Now, are you listening to me? J.D. Billy and Ken, the Kirkland Brothers, the Fabulous Pharaohs, back again to keep the dancers dancing at Prudential Center from 10 to 10 this Sunday, June 18th, for the second annual Golden Great Dance Marathon. See Ernie Ginsberg and comedian Sean Murray live. Get a sponsor and partner and call 890-0300 to register. You can win a trip to Disney World if you're the last dancer on your feet at the second annual Golden Great Dance Marathon. Here's Diana, huh? Some more of that greatest music of all time at 17 minutes after 6 o'clock in the morning. Good morning. We're so sorry, Uncle Albert. Open door policy, gunboat diplomacy, hands across the water. Things that... Things of that nature. At 22 and a half minutes after 6 in the morning. 22 and a half minutes after 6 o'clock. As you can't see over the smoke from your toast burning there. With 55 degrees, I'm Bill Lowell. Good morning to you. Sunny skies today, developing onshore winds and highs in the 70s. Clear, not quite so cool tonight. Lows in the upper 50s. And partly sunny on Saturday. Breezy, too, with highs near a Sunday. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Looks like there may be some showers in there. I got it. I got it. My. 
Miles there is bursting with balloons everywhere I look. Orange balloons. It's the Botco the Bargains Bash at Zare, especially for Father's Day. Right now through Saturday, extra late Friday night. Every special is marked by an orange balloon, and we've got hundreds of them. Shopping for your pop man? All time X watch is 25% off. Really? What's this balloon? A 19-inch black and white Midland TV. Pop goes the bargain, just $99, and you can charge it. And these shirts. Pop goes the bargain. These famous maker short sleeve shirts are $12 to $16 in most stores. At Zare, only $6. What a sale. Balloons all over the store. And bargains all over the store. Don't miss the Pop Go the Bargains Bash at Zare. Father's Day specials now through Saturday. Pop Go the Bargains. And what do you see? I see a sea of balloons. <laughs> When you pack that picnic basket, pack the wet ones moist towelettes. They're soft, they're cloth, they pop up to clean you up after hot dogs, freshen you up after softball. We got budget problems, and not the kind we can do anything about either. It's 13 degrees Celsius at 55 Fahrenheit, under mainly sunny skies. Another beautiful day. Good morning. I'm Bill Lowell, WROR News. The state may be without a budget for 1979. What do I mean about that? Well, Pat Dolan has a complete explanation this morning. Pat? Senate President Kevin Harrington called an impromptu news conference to warn that time is running out for the legislature to approve the 1979 budget. The legislature has only two weeks to resolve the deadlocked abortion issue. Governor Dukakis says he will line veto the Medicaid and state employees' health insurance items in that budget if anti-abortion language remains on them. If that happens, that uh, a type of a crisis uh, would uh, develop in the state that would not only approximate the uh, fiscal crisis of 75, perhaps in a different way, but would exceed it. So the pressure would then build, and the interesting question then is, uh, is would the pressure then have the House or the Senate collapse in its position, or will the crisis then be able to produce some type of compromise? Harrington says there are several compromises in the works, but he would not elaborate on them for fear of making the situation worse than it is now. This is Pat Dolan for WROR News. Meanwhile, a recent statewide poll of Massachusetts voters shows almost 75% of us favor across the board 45% property tax cuts, but the poll commissioned by the Boston Globe says voters can't decide which services are willing to cut if property taxes are reduced? About none. A new clue in the search for bodies in West Springfield. Don LaTulip has more on that. A hitchhiker who claimed he was drugged at gunpoint offered a fresh break yesterday in the search for bodies in a house lot in West Springfield. Police said the hitchhiker told them he was picked up by a pawnbroker, Kenneth Appleby, taken to Appleby's home and forced at gunpoint to take drugs. He said he passed out and awoke inside a police cruiser that was rushing him to a hospital for a drug overdose. Police say they're considering new charges against Appleby in connection with the tale told by the unidentified hitchhiker. For three days, police have been digging up the three-acre track around Appleby's home in search of bodies of young homosexuals believed to have been lured there from New York. Police say they've found no bodies. The digging has stopped. Don Matulip, WROR News. Meanwhile, a Pittsfield murder trial opens today. Kathleen Keneally has more. Opening arguments will be presented today in the Robert Nimblett murder trial in Pittsfield. Nimblett is charged with the 1976 slaying of Carol Ann Todd, a Falmouth school teacher who was stabbed to death while weekending in the Berkshires. The jury took a tour of the North Adams area yesterday, visiting scenes associated with the murder. Kathleen Keneally, WROR News. A decision on whether Senator Ed Brooke will face perjury charges is in the hands of Middlesex County District Attorney John Droney this this morning, that case order turned over to Droney by Middlesex County Probate Court Judge Lawrence Perea, who's handling the Brooke divorce settlement. The order yesterday, Perea also gave Brooke's wife the right to reopen the divorce case and seek a new trial. Brooke admitted at a hearing before the judge last week to making misstatements in his divorce depositions last year. 
In other news this morning, President Carter flies to Panama today for ceremonies formalizing the Panama Canal treaties and the mandates of the 14-year-old United Nations peacekeeping force in Cyprus ran out early today with the Security Council unable to agree on an extension resolution. WROR News time is 6.30. Here it comes. The most exciting sport in America because you don't just watch it, you play it. It's High Lie in Newport, Rhode Island, where $2 puts you in the game. But you can't win if you don't show. High Lie. Get a piece of the action at the Newport High Lie Sports Theater in Newport, Rhode Island. Your admission dollar at Monday's matinee goes to the Providence Journal Summertime Fund. Come to High Lie to help this worthy cause. Miss McDonald, lady. Yes? See my wife over there, the one in the raincoat? She's oh, yeah. trying to hide her bathrobe. We just came <laughs> over for breakfast. She's eating the scrambled eggs. She's waiting. There's she's there's she's there's she's there's 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 she wants to know, Miss, can I have your attention? She wants to know how you make the breakfast so good. You, you're the one. We're really cracking for you. The eggs are fresh. Great A fresh. They are fresh, honey. Great A fresh. What? Great A fresh, honey. Eggs, they're so fresh, Louis. Well, that's because they're fresh. I'll be over there in a second. Wait, uh, I'll well, in sports, Big Jimmy Rice says it all for us. He still thinks he's in a batting slump. Oh, boy. I would like to be in a slump like that. Anyway, he smacked a game-tying two-run homer in the seventh and then tripled home the two go-ahead runs in the eighth. This is Hawks down at Oakland again, 7-3. to three. Toward Mike Torres went the distance for the Sox posting his 10th win against two losses. Seattle will be in town this weekend. They'll be the uh, Sox next victims. And then the Yankees come in Monday for the first time this season. Bad note to Bernie Carbo fans, by the way. The veteran outfielder has been sold to Cleveland for an undisclosed amount of cash. A big win for the Lobsters last night. They defeated the New York Apples before a capacity crowd at Madison Square Garden, 28-26. Those two clubs return to Walter Brown to play uh, is that tonight. Yeah, they're probably, yeah, that's right. They're playing tonight. Let's check out, to first of all, traffic here this morning with Dave Glass. Good morning, David. Let's take a look. A good morning to you, Bill, and it is a beautiful morning outside. Not a cloud in the sky visible to my eye. Coming up from the south right now on the Southeast Expressway, looking pretty good through East Mountain Square and Deposit. Expect your first normal slowdowns for a Friday morning up around Mass Ave, Columbia, getting into the South Station Tunnel. Star Drive still in good shape on both sides of the Charles. From the north, no problems as of yet. We'll check back shortly with complete details. Back to you. Okay, and Tony Gregory is our meteorologist this morning. Good morning, Tony. Morning, Bill. Another beautiful day is in store for the Boston area with mostly sunny skies today. Temperatures will be in the low 70s due to onshore breezes during the afternoon. Clear skies tonight. Temperatures 55 to 60 degrees. Saturday will be a partly sunny day, a bit on the breezy side with an increased southwest wind. Temperatures will range from 75 to 80 degrees. Okay, sounds delicious, doesn't it, huh? We'll worry about Sunday when it gets here. Winning number in the game last night, 3-3-3-2. Three, 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 if you only could have known. Logan and the T are okay. In Worcester, it's 51. Providence, 52. Manchester, 39. It's chilly up north this morning. Lynn's 55. And here in Boston, 13 degrees Celsius. That's 55 Fahrenheit. Your editor, Sherry Beard. I'm Bill Lowell, WROR Boston. Now on the Golden Grade 98, Stevie Wonder. Johnny Rivers, Rock and Ammonia, Boogie Boogie Flu. And of course, the original on that is Huey Piano Smith way back in the, uh, the 50s. We'll have to dig a copy of that out some morning and play them both so you can see what I mean. He sounds an awful lot like Huey. Or maybe Huey sounds a lot like him. I think Huey had hits when Johnny was still in junior high school. <laughs> 20 minutes before 7 o'clock this morning from WROR. 20 before 7. Temperature 55 degrees. We'll see about the mid-70s later on today. Temperature, uh, temperature should be going up uh, very, very soon. Right? It's been holding at 55 for about an hour and a half, but the sun's up now. We should see an increase very quickly. Theater in the Square in Boston's newest theater. If you haven't heard about us, they're offering a subscription series for their summer season, uh, which begins on June the 21st. For ticket and subscription details, very simple. 864-2112. And if your car hasn't been repossessed or hit or stolen or tagged or towed, have a nice drive in this morning. <laughs> Here's Felix and the Rascals at WROR. Boy, has he got the right idea, huh? This morning at 12 before 7. It is a beautiful morning out there from WROR. A little bit on the chilly side, 55 degrees. We've got uh, all the smudge spots lit out here in the parking lot and up and down the uh, side, side street and in the alleyway. It should be warming up pretty soon out there. It's going to be sunny today, and the Wilson developing onshore winds with highs in the mid-70s. Clear, not quite so cool tonight with lows in the upper 50s. 
And uh, partly sunny on Saturday. Breezy. Highs near 80. Sunday is come see, come sell. We're not sure yet. We'll have to wait a little bit longer to find out uh, exactly what they're predicting for that. Holding at 55 degrees. Oscar Easy Pharmacy. That's really big on varieties. We're so easy on prices, too. And on our weekly specials, that's especially true. Our selection is great. It's easy, Oscar, the great drugstore.